Good morning and happy Vlogmas day 25. Happy, Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. I am in the car. Um, me and CJ just went up to Duncan. I really like the way this looks. It's nice lighting. Um, obviously I just got out of the shower cause my hair looks like this, but yeah, CJ just went to get the Duncan that I ordered. So we are at Duncan right now. Oh, that's awkward. I saw that person behind me. Oh my God, look, there's another car behind us. That's the same as what we have. Oh, you can't see it. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing today, but I just got my Duncan. I have to edit my video later and um, I have to wrap, I think, two more presents, but I don't have to before tomorrow. So sorry about this pimple right here. It's bugging me, but yeah, I um, don't really know what else I'm doing today, but tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So that'll be fun. while since the last time I actually talked to you guys I've kind of just been hanging out chilling not really doing much but the purpose of today's video was actually to talk to you guys about how my iPad has impacted my ability to learn while at school so if you didn't know I got this iPad back in I want to say like February it was right before COVID hit and we got sent home for from school um by the way, I am a sophomore in college. I go to the University of Louisville and I'm an accounting major with a CIS minor, which is computer information systems, which is like coding and um, that kind of stuff. So I got this iPad. This is the iPad seventh generation. I got it back in February and I have been using it for basically ever since then because I've been taking classes ever since then um, to help with my schooling. So I figured I was gonna go show, go through show you guys what I use for school and like how I like it. Um, obviously right now I'm not in classes, so I've been watching like YouTube and stuff and Netflix, but I was gonna show you guys some of my top apps that I use for school and what I think of them and how I use my iPad, etc. So if you saw my video yesterday, I said my best and worst products of 2020 or purchases. And one of them was this iPad and the Apple Pencil. I didn't get the Apple Pencil until I think June. Um, so I finished out my spring semester of this past year without it, but, um, I had a stylist, so that's how I was able to use. So basically I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go through and kind of show you guys what's on my iPad. Obviously it's my personal iPad, so I don't have to use it for school. I can use it for personal things. So I do have other things on here other than school stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through and show you guys everything I have on here. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um... So, on the first page, this is basically just all of the apps that the iPad comes with. I have FaceTime, Calendar, Clock, Home, Photos, Camera, Reminders, Notes, Voice Memos, Contacts, Map, Find My Phone, App Store, Books, Podcasts, TV, News, Stocks, Measure, and Settings. So, I never deleted any of the apps that were on here when I got it, just because I didn't really have a need to. I felt like I was fine to have it all. But out of these, I mostly use notes. 
Um, as you can see, that's my to-do list for today. I have all kinds of notes in here, just like a million different things that I do. Um, and it helps a lot. I have video ideas, um, things I need to do, that kind of stuff. So I use, I use notes so much. Um, it's super helpful. Even without being in school, it's very helpful. Um, I also use calendar. I have a lot of like things that I have to do. Obviously you can see my calendar is very big. It has a lot of stuff in it, but it helps me to see, you know, all in all things I have to do. Like obviously I flew to New York on Sunday. Um, it just, yeah, it just has everything on here and I really like that. Um, other than that, I don't really use anything else. Um, obviously you can see I <laughs> need to, um, update my iPad, which I'll probably do that tonight actually. Um, on the bottom, I have messages, Safari, music, email, and files. I don't use pretty much any of those at all except for Safari. Obviously, like I said, everything that came on this, I didn't really delete anything or move anything around. I kind of just left it the way it was. So the next page, we have photo booth, shortcuts, iTunes store, tips, um, and those are the last of the apps that like automatically came with this iPad that I just didn't delete. So the first app that I've downloaded is Notability. This was, I want to say seven or eight dollars on the app store, but I used this app in high school for my notes. So I definitely recommend it. Um, as you can see, these are all the classes I've had since I got it, um, which is a bunch. The only ones that still have notes in them are... Uh, this one which I don't really know why it's the only one that still has notes in it but basically all of the other notes out are like in the iCloud storage so they're not going to be there until they um, get uploaded into but as you can see they as it uploads it'll put the ones that I have in each class so I love um, notability because of the writing capabilities and the noting the note taking capabilities it's really awesome um, you can have the paper be any kind you want. You can have it be lined, boxes, dotted. You can change the color of the paper. You can literally do whatever you want with it, which I really, really like. Um, and then you also have so many pen colors. You can even create your own and you can do whatever you want with that. Um, obviously you have a lot of pen thicknesses and like dotted lines and um, that kind of stuff. It works a little bit better with the Apple Pencil, I will say that, um, but I don't think I have my Apple Pencil with here with me right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left it back at school because I'm not doing any work right now. Um, it also has the same thing for highlighters. So a highlighter would look like this. Well, I don't have, okay. Um, whoa, there's a laser. There's a new updates. Anyways, sorry. Um, but yeah, eraser, you can cut and paste things, you can type. Um, but yeah, it's really awesome. I really like this app. And if you are looking for an app for school, I would totally recommend using Notability because I love it so much. It's really easy to write notes on, very user friendly, super easy to, you know, do. Um, and you, they also have a store where you can like buy like stickers and stuff, but obviously if you're just using it for notes, you really don't need that. So I have YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, Blackboard, which is the website that my university uses for classes online. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I, I know some schools use Blackboard, some schools use Canvas Pro, Canvas, is that one? I think, um, we obviously don't use that. I have Pinterest on here. Pinterest has been like the, <laughs> the like number one thing I've been doing this year is just being on Pinterest when I'm bored. I, if you can see based on my homepage, I love home. I love outfits, tattoos, all of that jazz. I have Word and Outlook. I don't use either of those very, very much, but I downloaded Word for the rare occasion that I don't have my computer and um, I need to type something. So I don't have a... Um, I don't have a keyboard for this yet, but yeah. Outlook, that's the emails that my university uses. I have a calculator because the iPads don't come with calculators on them, which I think is really weird, but I got a calculator. Quizlet, um, if you guys know what Quizlet is, it's very, very, very 
sorry if you hear all the noise in the background my family is walking around um quizlet is really awesome for studying and like learning words i really love it um i can go more in depth into it if you guys want but a lot of people know what quizlet is it's very very versatile and everyone uses it i have poshmark on my ipad just because it's a little bit easier with the bigger screen to see um and then i have games i have a lot of games on here because i uh, get bored very easily. I have Jetpack Joyride, Candy Crush, tri Trivia Crack. I don't even know what that game is. Sort It, um, Cooking Diary, Uno, Brain Test, Daily Crossword, Solitaire, Another Solitaire, Wheel of Fortune, Mario Run, Poly Art, Bread, Bead Sort, Bread Sort, Bead Sort, Tangle Master, Slithero, and Among Us. Those are just like the games that I have. And then I have Kahoot because we played this for something. I can't remember what. I have Instagram, Ulta, Sephora, Pit Collage, Excel. I have iMovie on here because there was a time where I wanted to edit. Desmos, which is like a higher uh, ability calculator. You can do like graphs and stuff. Um, I have Lululemon, Amazon. I love Amazon. We all love Amazon. Amazon's great. Um, and you can do a bunch on there as well. I have another calculator that is like more of a graphing calculator. Um, Target, TikTok, ABC, because I watch Grey's on there. And then the last two apps I have is ESPN and Bills, because I like to watch football. Especially when I'm at work. And have nothing else to do. So, yeah, that is everything I have on my iPad. Obviously, over here I have some slide, some podcasts that I was listening to. Um, the weather, to do. Um, yeah, and it's just got, like, all this stuff. Obviously, like I said, I haven't changed any of this due to, uh, just not wanting to. But, yeah, that's everything that's on my iPad. So, yeah, that is my iPad. Also, this is my case. I love it so much. These are all the balance stickers that I have, um, since I have been buying from balance. So, this is Summit. Oasis, Outlander, and Kingdom, and then this is a Croc sticker from Mackenzie, and then I have two of the same ones, so I just put them on the back, but yes, that's my iPad. Um, if you guys have any questions about using an iPad for school, I would definitely comment them down below because I can totally get back to you and give you guys answers, um, and if you want another in-depth video or anything about getting through college and whatnot, just let me know, um, and I'd be totally down to do it, but yeah, that is uh, the main thing I wanted to talk about today. So tomorrow is Christmas Eve and I'm pretty sure the day this video is going up, it'll be Christmas day. So Merry Christmas to everybody. If you're watching this on Christmas, if you're not still Merry Christmas to you. Um, I hope everyone is having a wonderful holidays and I hope that everybody's having a good time. If they're able to be with their family, I was fortunate enough to be able to come home to be with my family for Christmas. Um, but I know a lot of people aren't this year and it's really sad, but I hope that everybody is being safe um, and taking all the precautions and being as healthy as they can. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. <laughs> I forgot this was in the background, so this, this is not mine. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.